Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a comedy, drama, and romance movie from 2011 called Bad Teacher. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie begins with scenes of kids heading to school and their time in the classroom. It then shows the teachers celebrating together in the staff room where they reflect on the past year. They say goodbye to a teacher named Elizabeth, telling her she's like family at jams and asking her to speak. Elizabeth mentions she's only been there a year and will miss her students most. Later, she's seen recklessly driving away from the school, smoking marijuana and yelling a farewell. Elizabeth Halsey, a morally questionable English teacher at Cook County's John Adams Middle School, often uses bad language, drinks heavily, uses drugs and neglects her teaching duties. She plans to quit teaching and marry her rich fiancé, Mark. When she gets home ready for intimacy, she finds Mark's mother there and learns she's unknowingly spent a lot of Mark's money and forgotten his birthday. Mark ends the relationship. Three weeks later, Elizabeth is back at school without her fancy car. She meets Amy, who sympathizes with her breakup, which Elizabeth blames on catching Mark cheating. Amy hopes Elizabeth will now focus on teaching. In the classroom, Lynn invites Elizabeth to lunch, which she initially declines but accepts when Lynn offers to pay. At lunch, Elizabeth admits she's looking for a man to support her and wants cosmetic surgery, but Lynn reassures her she's already beautiful. Elizabeth finds herself in a bar where a wealthy married man invites her to his boat. Instead, she chooses to chat with his younger colleague. They quickly get close, but when the young man shares his future aspirations to become an occupational therapist, Elizabeth dismisses him for not meeting her standards and goes back to the bar. The following day, in contrast to Amy's engaging class, Elizabeth enters her classroom looking worse, dims the lights, and starts a movie, ignoring a student's offer of homemade cookies and criticizing them harshly. In the cafeteria, when Russell, the gym teacher, asks her out, she rejects him, signing a policy against dating co-workers. After a tense exchange with Amy about her teaching methods, Elizabeth encounters Scott Delacorte, a handsome new substitute teacher, and learns about his wealthy background and recent breakup, piquing her interest, especially after seeing a photo of his ex-girlfriend. Elizabeth then visits a clinic to inquire about breast augmentation, shocked at the $9,300 cost. She tries to gather funds by reaching out to her parents and ex-boyfriend, but her efforts lead nowhere. She's living with a Craigslist roommate, who, after she hangs up on her unsuccessful calls for money, suggests they drink away their troubles. The next day, Elizabeth continues her hands-off teaching approach by playing another movie for her class, learning about their plan to raise money through a car wash that had previously brought in $6,000. Elizabeth is intrigued by the idea and heads to the principal's office. She tries to charm him, but he's more interested in dolphins. She requests to oversee the 7th grade car wash and successfully persuades the principal to let her take charge. During the car wash, Elizabeth wears eye-catching attire and begins washing a car, drawing attention from all the men present, with one policeman even crashing into a parked vehicle. Scott arrives in his Audi and Elizabeth attempts to invite him on a date, but he turns her down. After the event, Elizabeth is in a car telling the proceeds when Amy notices and reports to the principal, suggesting Elizabeth might have pocketed some of the car wash funds. The principal dismisses Amy's concerns, asking her to leave him alone. The following day, while Elizabeth is in the middle of teaching, she learns that her students are supposed to take a preliminary test. Dismissing the importance of the test, she tells her students to just get started with it, although she's officially supposed to allocate 45 minutes for it. During this time, Elizabeth makes a negative remark about Amy, calling her insincere while assisting another student. Later in the cafeteria, Scott stops by to chat with Elizabeth and another teacher, Lynn. Elizabeth quickly sends Lynn away, but Amy arrives and engages Scott in conversation, even mentioning Elizabeth's plans for cosmetic surgery, which irritates Elizabeth. Subsequently, during a parent-teacher meeting, some parents expressed their dissatisfaction with Elizabeth's method of using movies as a teaching tool. Elizabeth defends her approach, asserting that her employment at the school is due to her exceptional skills. She claims that movies are just one of the various multimedia tools she employs. She casually offers the parents some basic refreshments and ends the meeting. As she's leaving, one parent asks for more attention for his child and offers her money, triggering an idea in Elizabeth. 
She then begins to persuade other parents to pay her for extra tutoring sessions for their children. The tension between Amy and Elizabeth escalates, leading to more conflict. Amy gives Scott a copy of Eat, Pray, Love, which he says his favorite book, creating a special moment between them. Meanwhile, Elizabeth is found by a student using marijuana in her car, which she claims is medically prescribed. At the school dance, Russell makes another unsuccessful attempt to flirt with Elizabeth, who turns him down again and chooses to dance with Scott instead. In the hallway, Scott expresses his interest in Amy, but Elizabeth misleads him by falsely claiming that Amy is a lesbian. Scott is upset by this news. Back in the hall, Elizabeth suggests to Russell that they should use marijuana together. And she even persuades Lynn to join them. The trio ends up using marijuana in the gym. Later, through her friend Lynn Davies, Elizabeth learns that the teacher whose class scores the highest on the state exams will receive a $5,700 bonus. Motivated by this incentive, Elizabeth changes her approach to teaching, insisting that her class reads and studies to kill a mockingbird to prepare for the upcoming exam. Elizabeth's attempts to improve her teaching comes too late as her students still perform poorly on quizzes, which upsets her further. During this time, Amy starts a relationship with Scott and Elizabeth becomes friends with Russell, the PE teacher. Elizabeth then deceitfully gets the answers to the state test by pretending to be a journalist and flirting with Carl Hallaby, the official responsible for the exams. She tricks Carl into getting drunk and plans to seduce him in his office, but instead she drugs his drink and steals the test answers. Thanks to the stolen answers, Elizabeth's class scores very high on the test and she receives a bonus that she uses for breast augmentation surgery. Upon learning that Amy and Scott are going to supervise a field trip, Elizabeth maliciously puts poison ivy on an apple and gives it to Amy. Amy ends up with a severe rash on her face and can't attend the trip. Elizabeth seduces Scott while on vacation. They dry hump and Elizabeth contacts Amy on Scott's phone, leaving a voicemail that records everything, guaranteeing that she is aware of the affair. Elizabeth, on the other hand, finds Scott disappointing. Garrett is humiliated and mocked by his classmates on a field trip after loudly declaring his unrequited love for a classmate called Chase. After that, Elizabeth sues him by telling him how she is too superficial to return his attention, which makes Elizabeth think about her own superficial ways. She assists Garrett by handing him her bra and tells everyone that she caught him with a girl from another school, giving him a hand job to stop the other kids from making fun of him. Amy sneaks out of school and swaps her desk with Elizabeth to trick the janitor into unlocking Elizabeth's drawer. Inside, Amy finds a disguise in a practice test, making her think Elizabeth cheated on a big test. She tells the principal and gets Carl to agree to speak against Elizabeth. But Elizabeth had taken embarrassing photos of Carl when he was out cold and uses them to make him say she's innocent with some help from her roommate, Kirk. After not being able to prove Elizabeth cheated, Amy claims Elizabeth uses drugs based on what a student said. When police search the school of a dog, they find alcohol, weed, and painkillers in Amy's classroom hidden in a secret part of her desk, which Elizabeth healthily shows the police. Because of this, Amy is sent to work at a different school. Scott tries to get back together with Elizabeth, but she turns him down for Russell, whom she shares a lot in common with. As the new school year starts, Elizabeth decides she's happy with how she looks and doesn't go for the cosmetic surgery she was considering. She's also got a new role at the school as a counselor. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.